Good morning guys. It's time for another garden tour. It's been a while because obviously it's been fall and stuff. Um, we live in Southern California in zone 10B and so um, my winter garden is just getting kicked off and we'll be going all winter I believe. So I wanted to show you today what I've got planted. A lot of stuff that I wasn't able to grow during the summer. So let's take a look. We will start off here at the north end of the garden where we have some things that are still growing from the summer. This parsley is doing fantastic. Um, I think I'm ready to harvest another bunch to make penne alla vodka, uh, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> and then the basil plant has been doing really good actually. It's still doing great. I made a whole huge batch of pesto for Christmas. Um, this, all of this here is the main plant and then this part over here um, if you can see, this one was a, um, what's it called, where you take it and you plant a clipping, um, a propagation, as well as this little guy down here, which I think is alive. That one was propagated too, but it doesn't get enough sunlight. And so I'll show you where I've propagated some more farther down the garden. My hope is that I might be able to just overwinter and just keep going um, with the exact same plant all summer you know, next summer. We'll see. Um, the marigolds over here uh, died and then uh, their heads, you know, sprouted a new set. I've had basil, there was like a big part of it that came out here <laughs> that I cut off and harvested for Christmas pesto. So that's why it's all, the marigolds are all pointed this way where they can get a little bit of sunlight. But those are brand new from the old ones. And then the green onions have been doing really well. If you can see, they're like three feet tall, crazy. Um, I also have baked potatoes I need to make. <laughs> That's mostly what I use those for. Um, and then these here are not going to do well, I don't think we'll see, but these are Brussels sprouts. They're really not designed for this climate, but um, we'll, you know, we'll see. Uh, we really love Brussels sprouts for whatever reason. This one here never really started growing very much. It's still perfectly alive, um, but it's very tiny and it doesn't get enough sun now, I think, because it's behind the other ones. And then this here, and over there, another one I think, oh yes, over here, are um, actually lettuce heads. This is the section of the garden where I planted lettuce in the summer, or in the spring, and it never took off. It never even sprouted, and I thought, well, that's weird, um, but, you know, that's what we'll do. <laughs> we'll just, you know, grow, wait until the, the winter and grow more then. Well, it turns out they were just waiting for the winter and now a couple of them have sprouted. I've left them there. They're probably not going to do fantastic. And if they ever seem like they're interfering with the Brussels sprouts, then I will um, pull them out. But for now, they're happy to coexist. This guy is our zucchini plant. And I had it growing up on a pole. It was very tall. Um, and then it blew over in the winds. And it hasn't been doing as well since then. I think part of that is because its roots were really spreading into all the adjoining areas. And when I was preparing the soil to plant new stuff, pulling out the old stuff, planting new stuff, it, di it disturbed a lot of roots that this had been relying on. So I think it's been kind of sick since then and I might just pull it out and not try. It's still making zucchinis, but they get like half the length they need to be and then they die. So it's not a big deal. I I'm not worrying about it. Uh, anyway. Now we get onto the greens. This is the stuff that just doesn't grow in the summer here. So I've been sort of planting them in succession so that they're not all ready to harvest at the same time. These are broccoli here and then here. I just planted here like a couple days ago so they haven't sprouted yet. Then this direction are collards here, here, and then across. So you see this one here is, I actually harvested some from it um, the other day so it's starting to grow back. It's the whole cut and come again thing. So that's going well and they're really delicious. I've never had raw collards before. Delicious. Uh, spinach here. This is the first one and it didn't, I think it was still too warm so only one of them sprouted so I've planted more around it now and then I'll cross this way. Um, the spinach is also doing better than it was in the summer. Uh, it was getting a lot of leaf miners but it's been fine this year so that's good or this this winter. Then across this way we have green leaf lettuce, like a, you know, salad bowl lettuce, and this is romaine. I haven't harvested this yet. I have harvested some of this already. Um, for whatever reason, like this one fell off and died, and I think this is not doing as well either. 
but this one is gorgeous. I almost don't want to harvest it because it's so pretty. So let's go across here. Then the oregano has been here since the spring and I probably ought to try to trim it some more because it does want to get big and it does great without me having to do anything to it. Uh, I use it in my pesto sometimes. And then we've got carrots coming here. These two plots were plant planted first, then this one, then this one, but I don't think it got watered because our roommate was watering it while we were away. So I need to replant there. And then I just planted there a couple days ago, so no sprouts yet. But the carrots always seem to take longer from, for, when I say always, it makes it sound experienced. But um, last time when I planted carrots, they took longer than it said on the packet to mature. So we'll see. Um, and then over here, there's supposed to be chives here, but they never came up. So I have to keep trying to plant them again. And I think this is supposed to be dill. I don't know. Does that look like dill to you? Um, hopefully that's dill. And then <laughs> over in this corner are just the last couple little basil propagations that I tried from my last big harvest. See, this one's not going to make it. This one doesn't look like it's going to make it. You can kind of see if you pull at it. See, this one's like wiggling. Um, this one here looks like it's got some life in it. This one might too. And then this one's looking great. So my hope is that, ooh, I think I just knocked a leaf off. My hope is that at least one or two of these does okay, and maybe this will be our new main basil area um, so that it doesn't block the sun from everything else down here at the south, or yeah, the south end of the plot. So that's everything for this year, or for this winter. And uh, yeah, I was just, I've been really excited about it because all the greens are a lot of fun because you can just, you know, harvest them continuously um, and trying out some new things that I haven't before. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell and all that. I post some videos about my gardening stuff on Sundays, a lot of stuff about my planner system on Thursdays, so I'll see you in the next one Thursday. Until then, have a great weekend!